that honestly. Hmm? Hey! Hi. Did you just paste into dungeon select? The fuck you just say me, you little shit? Oh, did I paste in dungeon select? Hell yeah, you did. Oh, that was meant for the, uh, lol, that was meant for the fucking Baldur's Gate group chat. Oops. Somehow. Whoopsie! Uh, not to delete my fucking comment. God damn. Oopsie, my bad. Hey, y'all. We're here. It's Dungeon Discourse time. Oh my god, Koiba almost wasn't going to be here today. Dude, Koiba was late, guys. Uh, Koiba almost start. wasn't going to be here because oh, really? he forgot. Because oh, really? he forgot. Oh, you and then he, got, then he got a Twitter notification. He was like, I got to cancel the plans I made. <laughs> oh, you're such a moron, dude. God fucking damn it. Would it hurt you to start like keeping a, a bit of a fucking like agenda you know you have a fucking no, counter app on your phone yeah no, literally it, just put it in your phone hey don't no, smile here's the thing i usually remember but because we only mentioned it once on the sunday it didn't in my stick of my brain we mentioned one time on sunday it would be me it wasn't like hey yeah. guys remember like i hadn't talked to you this week so you're like oh yeah discourse i was like i remember it then but once i was like ah yeah sure yeah dickhead <laughs> so now i'm doing All stuff right, um, we're gonna finish and i'm fucking anyway. going <laughs> We're here. We're a little later because Koiba had to run home from I work. I finished work uh, late. Yeah. And Soko is here. Pog, is Hang this on. Sunday the last Sunday you'll be here? It is. Yeah, I'm gone on Sunday after. Oh. That's sad. That's sad. Wait, you're gone from uh, Halloween then? It's the, it's the end of the night shift. Will no, you be there I'm here for, Halloween? for Halloween. Nice, Pog. Okay, for cool. For sure, right? Unless I've, like, added this up wrong. Uh, oh, no, this Sunday case, after. Sorry. I was Sunday saying, otherwise, that. I've made a sick character for no fucking reason. Yeah, yeah. So this Sunday you won't be here. Like, this Sunday you will be here. Next Sunday you won't be. The one after you will be. Yes. Cool. 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 I All can't right. add. I added a week on the first week instead of adding like three days because I'm stupid. Nice. Um. All right. So today on Dungeon Discourse, we're going to be talking about the the previous session named entirely legal friendship group because that was a funny meme that you all discussed. Uh, I think I still think Smell in the Morning is. The, the, it's I'm pretty sure one it's the first, quotes. the first like campaign two joke, really, right? That that stuck. Yeah, and I think it's like one of the greatest we've ever done. So I it's finally like, found what my role like in Dungeon here. Select is. <laughs> Bell does the editing, and like Ethan does some graphics. You DM, I create the memes. Maybe no, because uh, Big I Blue see Billy, a lot of dumb shit, dude. I know Big Blue Billy. That was me. You could, yeah, I mean, I gotta say, for, uh, the big like, meme. so far, the two memes that have stuck the most have been surrounding you. That is, that is true. You can't, you can't that may that. not be a good thing, though. I didn't say it was a good thing. It's fucking it's funny. what I do. It's fucking it's funny. what I do. Yeah. I create um, the meme. So, today, what you're also going to do is you're going, oh. to, you're going to collaborate on creating a D&D &D character. I, I can't collaborate uh, with Rishi. Which will... Um, at the end of the the next dungeon discourse, we'll have three characters made, mm -hmm. and they'll be put in a poll, and the community gets to vote on which character gets to uh, become an actual addition to the campaign somewhere. Ain't that exciting? Thirty-one. Uh, yeah. Last hey. week we had Duke and Bell, and they collaborated <laughs> on making a cool Triton Gal Circle of Stars Druid. Um, <clears throat> Now I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. There's like a party! <laughs> no! Dude. Um, so, before we begin, or as as we, as we we'll begin, I'll, I'll start with a little recap of last session. Last session, you uh, completed the, um, the favor a part of your party owed to Jolly by sneaking into uh, a Red Dragonborn's house, completing bit of a puzzle to get access to a box that turned out to be a Mimic. After defeating said Mimic, you retrieved a blue box with inside it uh, the artifact, Crown of Corruption, belonging to Vlakith, the uh, Lich Queen of the Gith, living in a city in the Astral Sea, built on top of the corpse of a slain slash fallen deity uh, very metal very cool uh, you got rewarded some money and a couple of potions then uh, you know kind of did some shop did some did some did some did some loitering around I I, w I will say some loitering around the town uh, discussing some things and I think if I remember correctly correct me if I'm wrong we ended it with you guys getting ready to leave to go for the final stretch we the, to yeah we got we were bed. about to go travel in the morning for 
two days of travel. Yeah, like right? a day and a half, yeah, two we, days we, travel. We did sleepies. Yeah, there you go. God, dude. Um, I get we're nine episodes in. This Sunday will be episode 10 of Campaign 2. We haven't missed oh, a week wait, yet. Coco! Oh, you did it! You did it! Oh my god! You did it! You survived! Hell yeah! You beat Woo. your record with uh, with your first character. And all you have to do is be away for three sessions. <laughs> that's crazy. So actually, so actually, that's seven Two, you're on. Which were actually combat sessions. So actually, you're only on seven. So there's still no, time. True. If you that's die true. next there session. Still time. You die there's next still session. Time. Why do you have to say that? That's funny. He did it, oh, yeah. dude. He did it. Brackets, technically. <laughs> uh, I mean, his character, Jax, is alive past session eight. That is, that yeah, is that correct. Is alive Couldn't session. say the same for uh, for Ash, right? So that's a, that's a W. That's a W in my book. You I can take go. you can take that with uh, with with stride, Soko. I wait for Dutch having to kill off this character because he finds out Dopey somehow. It's gonna be so good. I know. I think uh, Jax is any, every, every, everything but <laughs> OP. Yeah, Jax, Jax is pretty <laughs> underpowered. Oh, just you only, dude. Jax snowballs. Jax I'm, snowballs. Just like our tipsters in general, like they're they're, they're, they're later stuff. Support, just they're support like class. They're not meant to be are... fucking strong. They're yeah, support true. class. Yeah, but. Right? Dude, so like, yeah, but Iron Man is still mm -hmm. Iron Man. Like, I mean, yeah, well, no, I dude, mean like, yes, our tipsters but... in general aren't. My art tipster is, because like the uh, the Eldritch Cannon one, that guy fucking yeah. deals damage, dude. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, I guess your subclass is definitely meant to be more of a. Yeah, a, a I mean, most character. of them are. It's just like that one's just like fucking yeah, yeah. damage city. Um, so you did it. You're alive. I just wanted to start off by asking you guys what I ask everyone every week is like, what are your thoughts on the campaign so far? Anything? last session that like jumped out at you that you're like oh dude that was sick or Ooh, what if this would have happened or anything I mean, along those lines i work so that i miss sessions because mm -hmm. this fucking campaign is great <laughs> yeah, this thanks campaign's man still... couldn't be couldn't do it without you guys. my job to play D &D. uh <laughs> it'd be like that trust me <laughs> reason for leaving i want to play D D with my friends on sunday smile <laughs> Yeah. Um, I mean, like, yeah, I, uh, it's going good. I'm enjoying it. I'm invested. I'm in. Um, oh, yeah. um, I, just, I don't really know what to say because I know <laughs> I'm pretty fucking like oblivious to things, but like internally, I've I've already organized it. I'm like, oh, that was cool. But then when you ask me what was the cool thing that happened, I'm like, fuck, I, don't know. I roll a dice. Yeah, just like <laughs> any any questions you have, like, oh, what, think, like what ifs so and that sort of thing. You know? I think so Dude. far there's no what ifs I have that I'm like, yeah, you know, that I've been thinking Jack, about this constantly. question goes to you as well. Yeah. I love and hate how I've been put in so many like dumb conversations where I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Now I really got to drop something about Jax now. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I didn't plan to say really shit. Cool. I was just I gonna play really like cool the, the daughtering kind of like, old man for so you long. You kind of just trickle in some like, like, like the dancing one was really the first time where you were like, oh, that was my, me and my wife's oh, yeah, thing. Oh yeah, killed and the mood. Was like, That was great. Oh wait, was wait, Jax was, <laughs> Jax was married? Question mark. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because previous to that, I guess I never said anything during sessions, and I guess it only came up session zero with Ethan, right? Uh, not even. I don't think it even came up, really. But, uh, I guess, yeah. Sort, sort of, kind of, yeah. You had that little thing at the tavern where you guys talked a bit and got to know each other a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. But... Um, but I, even there, you didn't really go into detail, to be honest. Nah. Lazarin is slowly and surely, if anything, in opening up, he's closing off a lot more recently. Yep. Because every time he brings up something, he just gets sheltered down by the group. Or, like, someone <laughs> says something about him, and he's just like... Yeah, but like well, he's always he's still... talking weird too, or like it's, saying something dumb. It's yeah, he, he'll still be open, <laughs> right? Wrong. He's not like closed off, but like he's now like, okay, I'm not gonna fucking share everything with these people at the moment because right now, if I do, they're gonna somehow ridicule me. <laughs> Which is also a Koiba thing. That's just me because I'm just like, nah, fuck this. Uh, this isn't yeah, a bit. You're God. <laughs> you're God. <laughs> exactly. Especially <laughs> God. I can say something stupid because I'm like, I take an like, awkward pause. That's fine. But it's just like, oh, my entire existence is being questioned. Great. <laughs> You're a merchant. I mean, Shut the fuck up in here. I'm like, oh. I mean, to be fair, you. It's funny though. <clears throat> it's funny. <laughs> like the the whole walking thing and the way the Lazarin, you know, like worships his god, is very different to the regular like religion. Definitely. Definitely. And and so like it's it's I feel like it's natural for the party members to kind of be like, what? Oh, it's you know not like uh. Um. You shine your coins. Yeah, what the yeah, fuck I mean, is that, like that? <laughs> What do you mean? 
<laughs> I don't know. That, like, when you first, like, told us that, I was like, dude, Koi was fucking wild and on this character. Like, what the fuck <laughs> has he got up his sleeve? Yeah, show me coins. Show me Can't coins. wait for you guys to open up a coin pouch. It's just all the dirty coins. You'd be like, imagine it's been taken over. This is not <laughs> like, This isn't him. That's, that's how we know it's a fucking change. Like, dude. It's changing. When Lazar does it, does it try to score my god. Um, I'm trying my platinum, dude, actually. I okay. love and hate how much deafening there's been. Oh, because, dude. Okay, yeah. Because there has it is been so good, good, good that you bring it up. So much to figure there out. has been a lot of deafening but, compared to campaign one because, and I'm, I'm going to give you the reason, a little peek behind the curtain, right? Instead of, like, what, I'm, what I've done is I've given everyone their plot hooks and everyone their, their stuff. And because of that, things come up. Uh, that n uh, not everyone can be privy to because spoilers, yeah. but I feel like that, that definitely adds some depth and it adds like a everybody's got like literally everyone has like shit up yeah, that's their sleeve tension. Um, because like yeah and and like uh, even even you know the, like Davian has opened up about his like yeah okay I'm looking for these tears guys I could use the help smile mm. and uh, but like. Kes hasn't said shit. <laughs> There's just a lot of um, um, plot points and hooks that will come up between the characters that know about it, but isn't you know y'all aren't privy to yet, um, because that would be you know that would ruin the, 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 the a ruin it for you guys O C and B, mm -hmm. uh, it's just so easy to slip up a meta game. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So like it's I, just easier when you don't know. Yeah, exactly. I and mean, that's what that's what I love. Like <laughs> that's where the definition is like it's so good because obviously like we get all these when we hear it for the first time our characters also hear you know it's that like yeah we get that raw reaction but also then you're just there like twiddling your fucking thumbs ten minutes and you're like fuck yeah I, and I just like, sometimes because sometimes dude because sometimes it means I'm like and the worst of it is <laughs> is not knowing the length of a of a definition because obviously you don't know either because it's fucking live so you're like can i quickly go for a piss and get myself a drink like can i do a quick like two minute break and just like sprint it or is this going to be like a 30 second death yeah. and then by the time you've waited out you're like oh, it's fucking too late now like uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. i mean we're but, all fucking grown ass adults we can exactly. fucking stick to a you know not you know pissing beforehand pissing halfway through and pissing after duke i what? drink no i drink a, <laughs> so i mean to drink a lot like during dungeon night, like I drink like two pints of water and like a cup of and like a, like probably half a pint of coffee. So like I got two and a half pints of like liquid in me. I'm like it's gonna go. Dude, just All develop some issues, kidney dude. stones, dude. Just keep keep the piss no. in. Fuck your ah uh, yes. Fuck your just kidneys. Ah uh, yes. Your piss hole. Ah uh, yes. Just get, get, a fucking get, a ca get a catheter, dude. I just get a UTI. <laughs> just pee in a bottle under the desk, dude. Oh, dude, where are diapers? Oh, you mean. You mean like? You well, that's just, actually a pog idea. Just miss mid dungeon like just hear the sound. You're like, don't worry. <laughs> We're in a tavern. He's pouring a beer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is extra funny because we literally heard Sogo piss off off stream. Like, he took us. <laughs> he, took us he took us. He took us to the bathroom with him and he pissed <laughs> like with the homies. I just didn't even think about muting, dude. It's just like he we didn't were talking. We, we, it's, we were we were talking. It's so he's so he's not like he's here. Piss, and we're like, "Are you pissing right now, Soko?" <laughs> yeah, like, like, I had not to laugh because I was <laughs> pissing, <laughs> and he just replies with, "Yeah, you never piss with the homies." It's <laughs> <laughs> me and the boys pissing. Oh, Dude, I piss in front of so many people because I'm drunk. Like, I don't even care, you know. No, it's fucking funny. It was just, it was just I just didn't expect it, you know. I just didn't expect it because <laughs> we were like, it was kind of like a normal conversation. Just yeah, someone pissing, and like, what is going on? Oh fuck, it's fucking funny, dude. That's the stuff you don't hear on stream, guys. Oh, Check out our OnlyFans for that. Um, I think next week we're releasing an OnlyFans, uh, like some spicy butthole dice picks. You know, like, like that video, all of, uh... and videos of like people putting dice up the ass and then farting them out and seeing how far they can fart them. Good shit. Anyway, why do um, I feel like that's already a thing? Like ping it's pong balls and a sailor. Is. Um. Anyway. No, d d so, yeah. D &D. Um. D and D, right? I, I, what I am, okay, for, I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to be honest. I asked this to, I think, I, I asked this before, but, like, obviously, Siren is kind of sticking around for a little longer. She's been around mm. for, like, I don't know, four, Three five sessions, sessions four? Oh, it was like Something like that? Three, right? Huh? Okay, we're session nine. Yeah. We met her, like, session, was, like, five, six. Five or six, it's, right? It's I'm pretty sure. Three, three, four. It's three, four. 
I was wasn't there when we met her. Yeah. Fuck me. Oh, okay, there you go. So it's uh, gonna be at least five. Temple, yeah, so yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be at least five. If and... I haven't met her, oh, it's gonna be five. It might be four or five, actually. Now I think about it, fuck. I put two episodes together because they were travel episodes. Yeah, yeah, four or five, yeah, four or five. So, like, my, my, my thing is, like, it, I, sometimes I'll, like, as Sirin, drop hints or, like, call mm. back to things. For instance, mm. the fact that you guys got told that there was a secret yeah. passage into that homie's basement. Yeah. And I'm like, am I am I guiding you too much? You know what I mean? Like, as a DM, I'm like, I think, you know what I mean? For that instance, I think that wasn't a guide. That was us as players had genuinely forgotten that information because it's like it was right at the end of a session we probably mm. like you know we get distracted easily especially towards the end so we're probably like you know because when people have to go early or they like, have to go at a certain time we're concentrating on the time so mm. they're thinking okay i don't want to do anything like now and we're like prolong this um and it was information that we all knew we were just like forgot it just slipped under our <laughs> radar so i don't think that's like much of a push because it was very much had we not been, oh, leave it. Doggo. Sorry, he's fucking sniffing my plate on the bed. That had, like food <laughs> on it. Um, um, like we all knew. We just like had not like forgot, but basically just like had gone under our radar. Mm -hmm. Um, that I think that's fine. But when it's like, if we've said a method of entrance, like if we mentioned it and said, actually no, let's try and go through the front door, then you kind of said that like mm, that's probably pushing it. But where we like had completely like fucked it and it's like oh yeah fuck we did get told that. <laughs> like we're just okay to be fair i remembered i just wanted to break into the house yeah i, I, I mean there's that as well <laughs> i like, just because... wanted to see more of what this was that, yeah. that like that was just my thought i think it. because we were like was something we had forgotten but like we should have known like yeah and like as having, a collective so we all should there, have known. i obviously yeah. role play yeah like a temporary party member at this point yeah, uh, yeah. And, and also serum like, would serum would also be smart enough as a range like these fucking idiots we were told this information like it's that mm -hmm. like hang on but yeah, obviously if she if was, it was like super like, low in she would have probably been like her, 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 her but she's yeah let me grab yeah. her sheet real quick yeah. Yeah. well it's like for me like from jax's perspective in my opinion right i was like okay jax is curious and always wants to know how things work mm. because he yeah she has a plus about, to her intelligence so like she's pretty you know, smart like yeah. she, she remembers things yeah and because like Jax wants to know more about what the fuck is going on here and more about the crown like as, as he showed a little bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um he's like okay if we break it in the house there's gotta be like some like clues in there as to like what's really going on here oh that totally wouldn't have been oh this guy well, literally what? like some like low he just like moved in the house and doesn't like live there yeah. fucking like fence slash handler like that there would have been some other cool like trinkets spread around the house that also were stolen, but other than that, that nothing regarding the crown specifically. Yeah. What's like the coolest thing we didn't get to see because we took the passage? Um, let me have a look. I was wondering on. about that, you know. It's like not even necessarily like loot wise, but just like you know. Do we miss? I don't know. Some people like, just um, yeah, they have like weird. Uh, there were or some yeah, like... pretty cool like, like 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 antique. Like, there was like an antique pistol, like an antique, like, pepper box <gasps> kind of vibe. Um, I could have had a pistol. <laughs> and I have proficiency. There was also, like, yeah. a replica. Yeah. Like, like, like a replica of, of like, um, kind of like, kind of like figurines. Yeah. That, that, that were basically made after the Heroes of Exile beat Orcus. Um, uh -huh. uh, we got action figures. figures. Not like action figures proper, but more like, you know, <laughs> some like, Ceramic. Someone made those yeah. and they're fancy, and because they're of um, yeah. important historical events, they probably fetch yeah. a lot of money and they're unique. It's actually, kind of fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, that would have been like a cool, just a cool little like throwback, like like things, yeah. like oh. But other than that, I mean, nothing regarding the crown would have been. Would have been so found. cool though. Cool. Dude, yeah. as soon as Jax gets a fucking pistol in his hand, he's gonna be his voice gonna change from doddering old man to yeehaw, motherfuckers. <laughs> no you know I remember this back in my <laughs> youth. My voice is back, baby. This pistol oh, brings me back to when I was 120 years old. <laughs> they call me the wrong back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Timeline meets up. Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'm always, like, worried. Because I because as DM, I know things that you guys don't know. Uh, so, like, whenever I, as Syrian, kind of give you guys a little, like... 
guys. I think you got told this. I'm always scared that I'm like, am I, am I pushing it? Am I like? No, I, th I think as long as it's like. I think there's a line that you ride. Yeah. And you do a pretty good job. Yeah, you, of it. you, and like if you do ever like push it, we're probably going there anyways. And if anything, you're trying to just. Yeah. You know, or we've been fucking bitching for like half. Or you've been speeding us through, minutes. or you're speeding us through a puzzle because we've been on the puzzle for an hour and a half. Oh, oh, oh it's like like we, we get the there like rock in the cave, dude. It's not even like it's not even shit like that as well. It's just like we as a party, we as just a group of people, are very good at getting distracted on really mundane shit and just arguing the same point to each other. Like we wouldn't even be arguing against for and against. We'd be arguing the same fucking thing to each other. Yeah. But just misunderstanding each other, yeah. And then Dutch that come and be like, "Oh, this happens," and it's like, and then suddenly everyone gets it. it's like, "Yeah, you fucking idiot." It's the amount of times I fucking walked out of, of my camp, like I'm not getting involved. Like I'm, I like I'm leaving this conversation because <laughs> yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting frustrated I just love with this conversation. For argument's sake. Yeah. So like that's yeah, why. That's, that's fine. When I, when I, when I that's an argument. Like, uh, you know, like I like when I did with Siri and like, hey guys, we got told about the secrets. By the way, that was after you guys were already like, like Bell was already like picking the back door and fucking it up and yeah, exactly. searching yeah, everything. Was, and that's when I was yeah, like. We were already, Took half our health and damage, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had already like kind of gone round and got like a little not lost, but just at least like oh yeah, fuck. Like Yeah, exactly. We were told there was a way in. Yeesh. Um okay, That's good. Um Koiba. That's me. You've got some shenanigans happening. You got you got you know, you got you got a little deafened moment a few episodes ago. I did. And I just wanna add because you asked, you brought it up, you asked yeah. Jolly, like, hey, yeah. And you ask her some. Yeah. And I'm just like curious to peek inside your brain, right? Okay. How antsy has that note made you as a Very. player? Very. Because, like, I was saying, okay, as a player, probably not too antsy because uh, I know that it's not going to be like suddenly out of the blue. You know what I mean? I feel like. That's not your DM style. It's not fully just like ah, surprise. Like, you know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. you know, it's like it could be a bit more, more gradual. As a character, like Alasman is freaking the fuck out. <laughs> like he, he's more just trying to like slyly find intel, rather than like. Obviously, he was a bit brazen with Jolly B. He was just like he had to know. Like he, he it was that moment he was like, "Fuck, is there connections here that like I need to know about?" <laughs> And then I can either get, have an in now with like Daigon and Kess, or is it completely different? I can be like, okay, sorry, never mind, forget what I've been saying, you know, which is what happened. He was like, cool, never mind, sorry, sorry for wasting your time. I didn't mean to bring it up again. Like, cool, bye, see you later. Um, as a player, I'm just a bit like, okay, I'm, like I'm taking more time with like investigating stuff now. I'm definitely more like aware of my surroundings mm -hmm. and I'm kind of like looking out for stuff a lot more. And like Alasman was kind of doing that, and like I was kind of doing that with Alasman anyway, because he's a very like insightful person. He's very kind of like aware of him, like of other people at least. I'm now making him a bit more aware of like buildings and stuff. Uh, you know, we saw a little bit when he was looking at the jewelers. I was like, oh, okay, is this something that Alasman knows? Is it like a brand someone like Alasman knows, or is it not? You know, it's it's stuff like that. It's, he's um scared of what you're gonna do, but also <laughs> really excited. So. It's good. It's good shit. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, and Soko. Mm -hmm. You've you've dropped some like some like some backstory like no, 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 little, no, no, little, little, little little breadcrumbs like. And I like that. I like that you're kind of like you know like nobody's really like asked you about it really, which kind of gives you the, yeah. the ability to kind of just be like oh. Oh yeah, that was me and my wife's thing, and like nobody really kept asking, and you and that's cool because that means that you can kind of like keep that, like oh, yeah, that's what it is, what it is. How long do you think you're gonna be able to keep that up? I mean, I got 300 years of shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But, I, no, my thing is, I don't think that you've actually like wrote down and turned into me. <laughs> Show that. I don't think I've even really touched on that too much, really. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, sort of. I guess I kind of touched on it. Like, like indirectly but like i don't know I, I feel like no one in our party really like digs at things everyone's still pretty like in that tentative stage of uh well at least they are anyways of like they don't want to like upset someone mm -hmm. and i think especially with like the dance you know the, oh my wife and i used to dance 
everyone's like on edge like oh fuck what the fuck did we just do you know yeah like oh, obviously we brought up something that's somewhat painful whether it like whether she's alive or not you know something's up and uh i don't know i feel like i feel like i could drop shit for another 90 sessions and be all right <laughs> yeah well i mean you gotta figure i'm gone probably like a quarter of them so yeah i can't drop anything then you know i can smile no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> i think as well what what lends a hand to it is like mm. with characters and people like you get this when like new friend groups you kind of learn each other's boundaries and you will hit a wall where you will say something and it's like what the fuck like that way over line you're like oh shit sorry i think we had that with jacks with how he's not not like he probably didn't think it but with when he says oh my wife used to do that i mean why that was me and wife thing we're like oh fuck this is like a no-go so i'm like walk it down boys fucking <laughs> it's over See, you know it's that like shit to me. it's that it was... like we don't obviously Aladdin wasn't there for wasn't privy to that bit of information he was dancing um but it dancing. is still the, no. he was dancing he was doing the fucking I don't know, waltz or whatever I said it was. Um, I think I think it's very much like getting these little tidbits every now and then. It, mm -hmm. It's hard to react to it in a way of like, let's push more because like it's so it's Jack's is so matter of fact, which is amazing and I love it so much because he is he is a very guarded person because of he has his beliefs they believe you know he strongly believes in the things he thinks. Yeah, he's not afraid to tell you. <laughs> and he's not and he's not afraid to tell you so you get these moments you're like oh fuck like yeah i guess you're right like i don't need any more information from you because you've told me straight up like you've not like with someone like kes you have to pry you know she's hiding yeah, yeah no yeah, no yeah. you don't have to pry because she'll tell you like something's very aloof and very like um oh, say maybe again. say that again aloof aloof that's a good word yeah it's a funny um and something very just like, oh, I maybe might have done something. <clears throat> just like, okay, what did you do then? Whereas Jack's like, I did this, fucking deal with it. Like, it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but she's also guarded about it too. So it's like, like almost yeah. comes off as shady. So you know, you kind of yeah. have to dig in a little deeper with her. Yeah, exactly. Whereas like with Jax, he's kind of been an open book so far. Like, yeah. I don't think I've really dodged any questions. Or if, you if have, I have, you... I didn't mean to. Or if you have, you just change subject. It's not even like a dodge. So you just kind of do that like... Lum out, we'll change the object, and we like, yeah, that's yeah sure. just a me ADHD yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. But, um, <laughs> Fair. Uh, I have a hard time. Oh, it's like even like emotional moments, dude. Like, like, like my, sometimes my brain just like fucking say something funny, ruin the moment, <laughs> do, do something stupid. You know what I mean? Just because, like, okay, I'm not, a, I'm not like a feelings person kind of guy in general. Really? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Um. You know, I'm just not like, I'm not a super open person myself. So like trying to be open is like so foreign, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, yeah, it's, it's fair. I don't know. It's weird. <clears throat> yeah, I just, just I'm, like um, I'm just looking forward to like, like we've, we've, we've barely scratched the surface of, of, of what's to come. And there's so many like plot hooks like plot lines already ready for you guys to just dabble into and note said i there... need to know <laughs> there's What's just so much know, like shit already there for you guys to just wander into whenever you guys feel like it you know what i mean you know what i mean, you know what I mean? like it's it's like i've set a lot of shit up already yeah and that it's just like there and you guys can actively choose to start pursuing those things whenever you feel like it really which is exciting yeah I think in Aladdin's brain as well, for a lot of stuff, is like what he's been told. In his brain, he thinks, well, this means fucking nothing to these people. Like, it, it, it. you know, it's like going up to someone, like, do you like this drawing I did? And you're like, good for you. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? It's like, it's telling something about the dream. It's like, oh, this happened. You're like, okay. In his brain, he's like, this will mean nothing to them. And like, I'm just gonna keep to myself until it starts being something to them until like mm -hmm. this becomes a problem or this you know this yeah fair enough, I fair have enough. to do something about it. so he's just like there's no <clears throat> he's very much a tell you information when you need to know not like mm -hmm. just because you want to know okay yeah, I want to know fair. everything give me your life story um well I age what <laughs> <laughs> so a part Shut of this uh, this this episode is gonna be dedicated to you guys collaborating and making a character. So let's say you want to just dive into that. 
can do. Right. I have the character right. builder open on D&D Beyond. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're going to start with a race. If you want to open up just like the, the yeah, character creator the races real quick. Uh, within the campaign so that we know exactly what we have access to. Yeah. And then just like don't make anything, but I'll, I'll make it here for you. And you guys just decide or determine uh, what or wh what or what. So we'll, we're starting off with race, obviously. Okay. Uh, 400 meter sprint. Sorry? 400 meter sprint. You're so fucking funny, dude. It's crazy. What? what the fuck is that a reference to? You know, it's a race. It's a race. It's like a 400 meter sprint, as in like, it's a race. Uh, You're sprinting. For, you know, I'm, right. I'm leaving. <clears throat> anyway. Too tired for this. You're a prick. Oh, yo, Koiba? Mm -hmm. Thoughts on yo, an Aarakocra? Aarakocra? Ooh. Birdman? Birdman? Rocket Man! Yes. Plus, done. I feel like they fit in the setting really well. Yeah, Birdman. Birdman. There, there are Aarakocra Bird that like live in Eldilon just haven't encountered him yet. Hell yeah, bird right, man. We're going exploring for birds. <laughs> we're going bird watching next session, boys. Yo, do we make, do we flavor it that it's like a parrot bird man? Because it's tropical. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's yeah. a bit more so like parrots, Eric Cockra? Right, got it. Yeah, parrots, Eric Maybe not like an actual parrot, but it's definitely like just more colorful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of just being like white. Okay. Instead of just being a basic starling yeah. bitch, you know? Yeah. Ah. So as a racial trait, you'll be able to fly and you have talons. Very Fuck good. Yeah, uh, class and subclass, because we're going to make them level three so that you guys can have, you can like decide a subclass okay. as well. Okay, I gotta look at classes, dude. Bro, it's a wizard. <laughs> it's a wizard, you think? Bro, I'm, imagine I'm a in. fucking like parrot that thing's got little fucking glasses on, little like <laughs> Pazne. Yeah, he's got like those half moon spectacles, like. Yeah, fucking like Pazne. Yeah, please go fucking like Pazne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Fuck down. It, dude. All right, wizard. <laughs> Wizard? Oh, Koiba, Koiba. We have to do this just because we yeah, both want to do it. We oh, gotta do a Blade it, Dancer, right? Blade Dancer? <laughs> blade Dancer. For sure. Or Blade Singing, I guess. Blade Singing. Sorry, they call it Blade Singing. Blade Singing. For what? The, the L blade Singing? Blade yeah. Singing. Yep. It what came out that? in Tasha's. Never and heard me and Koiba both want to play one really... If this had come out before I made Morwen, Morwen would have been a Blade Singer. Oh, um... Soko or Koiba? Hello. Roll, um, uh, roll, roll 2d6 for me real quick. Yo, yeah, so good. Like or you, huh? you don't have your dice? Yeah, I'm a dice. Oh, we could do one each. Or one each, I guess, yeah, true. All right, I'm rolling Corbus dice. No, I've got, no. Oh, you're on my dice. Three. Okay. Where the fuck am I doing? Did he mean to just roll? No, I've got it. Okay. Three, three and three? All right. Oh, That's just for HP, real quick. Oh <laughs> shit! Um, <laughs> oh no! Fucked it. All right. Uh, so like proficiencies, what are we thinking? Uh, Ooh, history, uh, definitely. Yeah, you got, gotta be a historical boy. History. Yeah, sorry, okay. Do you do history and arcana? Do we just um, think go all in? Yeah. Fuck it. Why not? You know? Fuck it, dude. Fuck it. Okay. 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 Old. Old wise bird. So blade but... singing as your arcane tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Training in war and song, a second level blade singing feature. You gain proficiency with light armor, and you gain proficiency of uh, one type of one-handed melee weapon of your choice. What one-handed melee weapon would you like to be proficient? Okay. With? It's gotta be something cool. Something weird. And like weird. We have that was... club. I got like a weapons. Yeah, because I don't know. Javelin, light hammer, longsword, Wait, mace, morning star, <clears throat> rapier. Scimitar. Oh, morning star. Surely, sick, it's gotta be a morning star. I I'm, I'm down. Look at that, so fucking. Locking in morning star. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, spells. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> you know, three, we class, three huh? cantrips, and you have three spells uh, that you know as well and have prepared. Uh, the wizard spell list. Hold on. Hold on. Cantrips. Okay, wizard. Why you know words? Actually, I'll give you five known spells. Okay. Because you'll be like, it'll be a level three wizard. Right, yeah. Like, I, I feel like besides the three that he, you know, starts with, I guess, at this level, you'll probably have found some spell scrolls along the way. Fuck it. Quite. What is a uh, I'm thinking dancing lights. 
Yeah, you have access to first and second level spells, by the way. Okay. I think so. Go for a cantrip, dancing lights. It's like a bit showboat. Oh, dude, yes. When he's flying around, just fucking. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's fucking showboat. Okay, dancing Down. lights. Um, okay, okay, I gotta move this real quick. Okay, so did, how many cantrips do we know? Three. Three. Three cantrips? Damn, dude. Alright, well, we gotta have like one, like, damage cantrip, right? Wait, what is Encode Thoughts? Looks sick. What? What? Encode Thoughts. Putting a okay, finger to your head, you pull a memory, idea, or message from your mind and transform it into a tangible string of glowing energy called a Thought Strand, which persists for the duration or, or until you cast a spell again. The thought strand appears in an unoccupied space within five feet of you as tiny, weightless, semi-solid object that can be held and carried like a ribbon. It is otherwise stationary. Casting the spell while holding a thought strand will allows you to instantly receive whatever memory, idea, or message the thought strand contains. Or casting detect thoughts on the strand has the same effect. That's fucking cool. What? Yeah, Last, and, so, and one of those strands lasts for eight hours? What the fuck? I've never heard of that spell. It's very sounds like um the Harry Potter thing. Yeah, like Dumbledore you fucking memory, yoinking yeah. his shit oh, out. Oh yeah, they're putting like the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. what I thought it was for uh, as well. All right, Koiba, Green Flame yeah. Blade or Booming Blade for a cantrip. Oh, let me just double check what they each one do. Green Flame Blade, Melee Spell Trap. <clears throat> Sneak from the target to a different creature. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then Booming Blade's the fucking other one. Which I yeah, always Booming Blade's the one that if they move, they get fucked. Yeah. And I quite like the, the, the green the green, fire. green Flame Blade. It's just like super yeah. sick thematically. Green right, Flame, let's go green flame Star. Blade. I like, I, like, I like being a lot of color. I like a lot of color sort of spellage with this. <laughs> Plus, yeah. it's like colorful, like a parrot. It might match, you know, the green might match yeah, his fucking... True, actually. That's what I'm thinking, that, like... That's what I'm thinking, is that we're all, like... We can okay. true strike. Oh, so green flame blade, strike. locking it in? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I think we do something like... One more cantrip. Do we, like, minor illusion, or... Or message, maybe? Yeah, message. Yeah, message. Message is solid. Right, message. message. All right, boom. Yeah. That's your cantrips. You have five spells that you can learn. Uh, you have access to both first and second. First and second. Do you want to look at first level, look at second, or vice versa? Okay, yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> um, uh, oh my god. Find familiar, he has his own parrot. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Five familiar yeah. has fucking parrot. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. Oh my god, uh, dude. I love this. Do we, do we do gust of wind to make him like? Nah, that's lame. That's. I mean, it kind of fits though. It fits, but it's lame. Yeah. Uh, let's do shield as well, because I'm a blade singer. You gotta have shield, yeah. right? Shield, yeah. Okay. Boom. Uh, Where you go? Okay. Do we shadow blade? Sh shadow blade is sick. Yeah. So you can like offhand the shadow blade. With the morning star yeah but also i wonder if you can actually blade sing with the shadow blade. or do you or do we magic weapon our morning star Ooh. Ooh. that's what i'm thinking what is, is magic weapon just make the plus one becomes plus one bonus i'm down makes it plus one yeah that'd yeah. be great oh my god the magic weapon or you still do the debate yeah, yeah. Of course, cool with it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then do we do fucking enlarge reduce? Big bird. Oh my god. Yes, big bird. Big bird. He, he likes to imitate rocks. <laughs> yeah, big bird. Okay. Uh, that's two first and two second. Should we say? Should, shall we say one more first level spell to finish it off? Sure. Yeah. Um. Maybe uh, he's gonna be close up, right? Mm -hmm. For the most part. So what about uh, burning hands? Yeah. Or, or do, do we already do... have a lot of damage though? Or do we do like an identify? I was gonna say, yeah, 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 good point. Identify is probably what we yeah. should pick here. <clears throat> yeah, just makes makes sense with his like I don't know knowledge. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna want more utility spells anyways in general yeah. because he doesn't really need him to attack. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll do we'll do we'll do. 
Yeah. All right. Like, uh, which fun. ones would you like him, him or her to have prepared, like just for the sake of it? Um. Well, he doesn't need identify or find familiar prepared. Technically. I guess. Well, because it's their rituals. So. Oh, true. Curious to the rest of them, yeah. So I was like, yeah, you just have the rest prepared. And... Yeah. Okay. Boom. Cool. Passed it. Um, we shall now go to uh, abilities, and um, we're just going to use standard array here, just mm -hmm. for the sake of ease. I did that with the last okay. uh, duo mm -hmm. as well. So we make well, in best, right? In in best, and then I think Dex is second. Mm -hmm. Dex then second. Con. Yeah, then Con. Dex second, and then Con. On. Then I think he's quite wise. Not very charismatic, because he's. Kind yeah, of I don't think he'd be very charismatic either. I mean, he's wise, wise and strong, and then char charisma dump. Or do we dump straight? I kind of. I think like we dump charisma. Yeah. I think it makes more sense that he's like a, at least a little strong. He's yeah. like you know average strong. Yeah, average, average person and strange. Okay, yeah. so allocating fifteen to your intelligence, giving him a total yeah. of fifteen int. Fourteen dex, giving him a total of sixteen because of his racial bonus. Uh, 13 to con for a total of 13. 12 to wisdom for a, for a total of 13. 10 into strength for a total of 10. 8 into charisma for a total of 8. Yep. Sounds good to me. Okay. Yep. All right. Now we get to the juicy, the juicy parts. Uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna weave a, a short story around this character. Mm -hmm. Who is his daddy? What does he do? Uh, first of all, <clears throat> your character. Gender, description of what 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 they look like, that sort of thing. How old? How old do our cockers look? Yeah, I said they're like, oh, what, uh, maybe a hundred. I think they're very that similar much? to a human. That's what I was, that's what I thought. Was Actually, really, no, I think uh, they, no, 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 no. They're like they 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 don't live very long. I think they're, they're like thirty they're or like... some shit. Oh yeah, really? They're fucking like just like kind of like go out there and then die. Yeah, they yeah. they they're, they don't get very old. Yeah. We reach towards you by age three. Don't live longer than 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. They don't live very long. Dude, maybe like, he's uh, like 25. No, I think, I think, he, I think they're... We got the half in spectacles, though, you know? Yeah, but they're still, it's, that's because of, like... Like, 25 is, like, like 90 in human years. Like, you can, you can... <laughs> I think, I think they're probably... I just like, want another old man to talk to! <laughs> no, I think, I think they're, like, 16, 17, you know, very midlife. No, no. The midlife, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the mid. Yeah, they're, they're like they're like midlife crisis now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's that's why they're so like flamboyantly like <laughs> everything they do is so flamboyant, and they're just there. Oh, like, true. They're trying to like make up for all the years they lost. It's you know, you know when like an old man buys like a Harley Davidson or like buys a uh, <laughs> red car. It's their fucking midlife crisis. Like they're trying to show off. I hit my quarter life <laughs> crisis, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's bad when you hit your midlife crisis like sixteen. You're like ah oh, fuck. <laughs> Like this gal or guy, which brings yeah. me to gender. Gal, no gal. Guy, guy. It's guy? Yeah, it's be a guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Her, wait, man. I don't really give a fuck. Uh, height. Height. Size. They're usually like five feet. Like so like, how big is Burb? Yeah, how big is Burb? Like, I don't know, like four five. ten. I think four ten. Four ten. He's a little on the shorter side, you know. A little on the short side, yeah. He's got like short man syndrome, you know. Oh my god, as well, short man syndrome, and is going through <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh man, uh, eye color, what kind of eyes uh, does he have? I think they're like uh, gold. They're like like eagle eyes. They're kind of like sounds good. Goldy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Skin, or in this case, plumage. What kind of? Oh, eyes? it's gotta be just like a rainbow assortment. It's right? super fucking colorful. Like lots of greens and, and like a toucan's more. beak. Yeah, kind of I think it's a lot of like green blue, so with like a stripes of red and orange in it. You know, like it's a lot. Face green blue. And then it's like teal. And then into sort of like a little bit of purple and then main and then like a streak of like orange red. And then his five familiar pet is just like complementary colors. So greens and yeah, blue greens and blues with stripes of red and orange. Mm-hmm. And our, and his little parrot friend is red and orange with stripes of green and blue. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay. That's the physical characteristics out of the way. Physical fucking name. Um, with that said, what kind of alignment are you thinking? 
just to have a baseline. Oh, this guy. Okay. Chaotic good. Chaotic good, yeah, 100%. Chaotic good. Best yeah. alignment in D&D. &D. Any yeah. religion? Um, oh, bird. Big bird religion. Yes, there's, there's the great like... bird that descended from the sky and yeah, saved them sort of, all. I there's some know. sort of fucking phoenix religion, you know what I mean? There's some sort of fucking... Oh, I mean, I can have a look-see to see, like, what, like... Yeah. You know, the society of Aarakocras. I feel yeah. like they would worship phoenixes. You know? Um, like, burb that can rebirth themselves? The Jesus. biggest deity Aarakocra <laughs> worship <laughs> is called Airdri Fainia, mm -hmm. also known as Queen of the a Avaril, Elven Goddess of, Sel of Seldarine, um, held a position by serving as the Fey aspect of the Faerunian Goddess and Primordial Akadi. However, with the coming of the Second Sun Ring, she was once again an independent goddess. She depicts herself as... She's also called Bringer of Rain and Storms, Lady of Air and Wind, Queen of Avariol, She of the Azure Plumage, the Winged Mother. Oh, She of the Azure Plumage? Come on. I mean, uh, there you go. Chaotic do it now. Good. Yeah. Her symbol is chaotic a beard good. silhouette against a cloud. Oh my god, it's perfect. Yeah, that's... Wow. Perfect, yeah. End of day, he thinks he's cool, but it's a fucking normie. Yeah, like, he's like, I only he thinks he's like all edgy with his religion and shit. Yeah. And like the religion, like he will only refer to like the really odd names for like the yeah, god, yeah, yeah. like the actual plumage and shit. Like that it's like, fucking dude, you mean this? The like, lady of the Azur plumage. She was yeah, free, um, chaotic, and impulsive, and did not like to stay in any one place for too long. While she yep. delighted in creating unpredictable weather, including some fairly severe thunderstorms, her primary joy was simply to feel the air around her as she flew high above the ground. Me Somewhat distant, bird, Airdrie dude. seldom involved herself in the culture of her fellow deities. Usually disregarding the other elves of Faerun, Airdrie mainly concerned herself with the affairs of the few remaining Avariel. And Avariel are... Um, the, like, first elven folk that migrated to Faerun, and they have, like, wings and shit. Um, their race almost got wiped out due to a conflict with dragons. Mm-hmm. Uh, very little of them remain, which kind of gives them like myth or legend status because like no mm -hmm. like because they're so little, a lot of people don't believe they are real mm -hmm. or exist anymore. Kind of that kind of kind of vibe. Yeah. Um. Well, cool. Learn something new. Pog. Pog goes down. Yeah, imagining okay. more of a myth than uh, dragon. Lifestyle. I don't really give a fuck about. Uh, let's go for a background, baby. Oh. Oh. Um. Should we go like list color? Should we go like sage or do we go like fucking hermit or you know? Do we... I feel like those are like basic though. Yeah. You know. Do we fucking go. We got. We gotta make something weird, dude. Something weird. Something fucking... weird. Something weird, dude. Like what about what about a fisher? <laughs> We're excited, stife bomb. Just fucking like. Get yeah, you know, a little, little pelican action. Fucking sailor. Oh my god. Bam! He can, he, can have he can have an eye patch. Oh my god! Oh it's a there's a there's a giant god. pirate somewhere. Yes. And it's the parrot for the giant pirate. Bam! Yes. Big question. Oh, I'm so. And that's why he's got a fucking parrot familiar because it's his parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Sailor or pirate. Bam! Pirate Next background. Damn! Done. Yes. Boom. Oh, oh my oh god! My. That's that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. He's he's he has the eye patch, but he, his eye is still good under it. He just wears the eye patch for effect. <laughs> it's one of those eye patches that's like woven so that you can see through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then now, I want you guys to write a very short backstory yeah. for him. I just fucking did, right? Okay, well, like, what, like just a few sentences. Uh, what drives uh, them? What did they do? What do they do now? He... I think they definitely used to be a pirate for like almost like storm giants. You know what I mean? It's that like fucking crazy shit. There was some weird like, you know. Oh, dude, what do we call a ship though? Guy. The ship? The ship's gotta have a good name. Well, we have to be a storm giant name. So it'd be fucking something really stupid. <laughs> so, but he used Hello. to be a pirate among the storm giants. I think so. Yeah, that that you know, like that's. Was he like was he like the captain or was he more like a I think he was like the captain's parrot. <laughs> like he's, he, he's like Shmi, you know? He's, he's like Shmi. He 
was definitely around the captain a lot and maybe even like influenced the captain quite a lot but wasn't actually by name the captain oh right so he was the parrot on the storm giant captain's shoulder yeah kind of vibe. yeah okay yeah. okay yeah like but he tells everybody that he is the captain uh, or was it? Or was, or the, was captain? the captain? Oh, yeah, a yeah, ship. Yeah. It's very like aloof about like. What's the, what's the name like... of the ship? That's an excellent question. What's the fucking? Um, what's a good? What's a dumb fucking ship name? That's an excellent fucking question. The Avantador. <laughs> That's... That sounds kind of badass. I'm gonna lie. I don't really see that fitting like the storm giant like Avantador. That sounds a little more. I don't know. Maybe that's Oi. what it translates to. <laughs> I mean, fair. Fair, I guess. Because uh, the I'll big look at these boat. Storm names, and it's like Kuvar, Zealous. The big, the big boat. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's Boating McBoat face all over again. Oh my god. It's Vantador, Jesus Christ. I'm just. Name, no. I'm not gonna it's, lie. It's, it's I'm just thinking, now. I'm just Vantador? thinking the fucking car. I just thought of car names. <laughs> <laughs> My damn Lambo's cool, you know, like Ferrari's cool. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, so you're saying three. that, like, uh, like when, when did he three. decide? When did he decide to leave the? Um, I wouldn't. The, 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 that 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 life. I think there may have been like a mutiny, and he had to escape. He had to kind of like dip real quick, you know. Yeah, to fucking just. Um, you know, played fucking dumb. Was like, I'm just a pirate. Oh. You know, I was like fucking. <laughs> I was a cracker. And just like fucking screw it. the fuck and out. Just of flew it. until he hit land. Yeah. So, fucking sword. So and she's like, okay, fluently hit land. Now stranded, yeah. on, stranded, on yeah. stranded, stranded on the continent of Agrend. Yeah. Uh, and what, what did you say, Soko? He like. Tell stories that he was the captain of that ship. Oh yeah, yeah. he tells stories oh. like he was the captain of the ship, telling yeah. everybody else like he had this group of storm giants that were just his fucking crew. He travels around. Um, Probably well, because he's really like uncharismatic. Like, no. Yeah, he's uncharismatic. No one believes him. Him being the captain of that ship, and how he ship wrecked here, or something like that. Yeah, how he became a wizard though. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like it's kind of almost like it's just something he did to pass the time whilst he was on their like boat. Was that like he kind of already had an interest in shit like that? And so when the storm giants found something he didn't understand, he fucking like and they like just stored it. He just went fucking. I'm looking at that. I'm reading that book. Like very much a, like his wizard training was. That's why he like blade sings because obviously he's got this pirate background where he mm -hmm. had to like fight and stuff. But then he's also like, <laughs> hey, this is, uh, cool. yeah, it's kind of cool, you know. Uh, uh, dude, yeah. Okay. He's, he's just kind of read up by that and like just he more, whistles more like the blade song in his like out like that he hears in his head he, like whistles it yeah. as he fucking like, well, like it's it. cool like the bird call. So like yeah. being a wizard, he functioned as yeah. a consultant for the captain whenever they found magical items. That kind of yeah, kind of kind of kind of that kind of do, and also just like that's also how he started like learn more and more powerful magic was just that like he, him studying to learn is also how he kind of became an expert. It's that kind of like learn yeah. on the job kind of lied his way into getting anyway because he had like a basic understanding and then like I don't know maybe the Storm Giants fucking invaded his hometown or some bullshit you know what I mean just fucking they're like Bruh. man I don't know how aggressive Storm Giants are is it bad that I just want to play this now Let me <laughs> See. So, so we say, okay, so I wrote this down and let me know if you guys want anything edited. Being a wizard, he functioned as a consultant for the captain whenever they found magical items, and that's also how he started to learn more and more powerful magic. Combining this with the melee combat he took part in while on the ship gave him a knack for blade singing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And then after the crew committed a mutiny against the captain, he fled the ship and flew until he hit land. Now stranded on the continent of Agrand, he travels around telling tall tales of him being the captain of that ship and how he shipwrecked here. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. sounds about right. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. Cool. God, I love it, dude. Last but not least, we need a name. Mm. So now, I've looked on like a random name generator, right? Mm -hmm. Farrow names. The first one I got was Dick. Nice. Like D-I-K, I got... D -I -K, I'm guessing? D-I-C. D-I-C. Mm. All right. Then I, then I looked and I got D-O-O-C-K. I got Duke. I thought it was pretty nice. fucking funny. Wait, wait, wait. What about Cluck? Then I also, then I got Cluck with a K, 
at the oh. start. <laughs> so, uh, I don't fucking know. Do we just go like really fucking weird with it? Do we do like? Oh my god! I just looked. I got I got dork, but with two O's. Dork, 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 dork. What if we just like add like a syllable at the end, like a a, a dorkle? Dorkle. 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 Fucking. Rorkle. <laughs> with an R instead of a D. <laughs> Rorkle. 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 I'm in. R. Double O. R. R. K A L. K A L. Fuck. Rorkal? <laughs> like Rorkal? Yeah. Rorkle. It's Rorkle. Rorkle. R double O or R O A? R double O. Man, okay. R double O R K A L. Okay. It's fucking stupid. It's a fucking super so, parrot name. <laughs> Rorkel. The. I forget a parrot. So I'm naming it. Colorful Aracocra wizard has been created, having a plumage of various blues and greens with stripes of red and reds and orange. One serving as a. Uh, Storm Giant's pirate captain's parrot. Practicing his magic, finding magical artifacts, making him stronger, giving him a knack for blade singing because of the melee combat that he took part in when fighting other crews of pirates and, and, and that sort of thing. Eventually, Rorkel uh, had to escape the pirate ship known as the Aventador because of a mutiny of the, fel of the, of the, of the crew against the Storm Giant captain. And hit land and is now stranded on Agrind and goes around telling tall tales of a pirate ship with a deadly crew named the Aventador that he used to captain but unfortunately shipwrecked and he was the sole survivor. Hell yeah. All right. Oh yeah, dude. Solid. Solid fucking character. Oh, don't forget a small parrot. Oh yeah, this is a familiar. That's a fucking small it's parrot. It's oh yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> So it's a big parrot. It was like a fucking Russian doll parrot's big cap. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking nesting dolls. With no one to keep him company besides his small parrot familiar. Yeah. There we go. Well, you guys made a fish mommy? Oh shit. Uh, yeah, they made like a triton, triton gal. Can they just be married? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boom. There's oh, the daddy. character. Hell yeah. Uh, view character sheet. Let's have a look. See, everything seems to be in order. If I go to the dungeon select campaign page, he should be there now under deactivated characters. Sure is, Rorkel. All right, awesome. And with that, I'm gonna leave you off with a little, little, little tease for uh, for next uh, session, and then we're gonna end it. I think. The next session, you um, should make it to Eldilon, realistically. And uh, there's one more, like, little bit of, you know, side stuff to do along the way. You know, a little roadside encounter for you. And when you hit Eldilon, you are going to be presented with uh, your first magical items as a quest reward. I, hey. Obviously, besides the Lazarin, because he found something, but... Hell! Your first magical item that will uh, we don't grant you that. with some extra oh. utility. So that's you got that to look forward to. That about the drift globe, yeah. <laughs> some extra utility oh, for the boys. <laughs> um, Ooh. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm ready. Hell yeah. Thanks for I'm being ready. here, Quibs. Even though you were uh, like late and stuff because of work, I appreciate you still uh, no, making, no, you know, problem. rushing, rushing home you. and being here. So cool. I appreciate you. It's fine. It's excited okay. to have you here again uh, on, on Sunday, and then we're going to have to miss you for a week. Ever. Not together. But, uh, Not guys, <laughs> Jax officially lived longer than Ash, so that's a W. Fat Jax W. Lived longer than Ash. Confirmed. I think Ash both did in game time. I think both in game time as well, because I feel like that entire, like, first I think like, like three thing hours was like, well. was like, in campaign one, that entire, like, first, like, ten sessions all took place within, like, the same in game week, I'm pretty sure, because of the fact yeah. that it was all pretty close to each so. other. It's all pretty like. Well, I think I, I think like just like stream time as well because I think we were keeping like a three-hour schedule back then. Yeah, no, we, pretty we, pretty, we, pretty hard, and then we, we slowly we, extended out to four. Yeah, and nobody and bitched about, so that's nice. We, yeah. we kept it going. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for being Thank here, Corpse. Thanks for being a Soko. I'm we'll done. see you guys on Sunday for session ten.
Twelve dungeon select. Session ten. Time for the first character death, boys. Let's go. And why is it going to be a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. Bye!